And it's a day American is never going to forget. And for those who lived through the attacks on that day, it's a memory forever etched in their brains. One of those people now lives in Arkansas as a professor. New tonight, Jacob Luthi introduces us to Ray Taylor. Inside the Pentagon on this day 23 years ago, and then the work that he did in the aftermath to honor the victims. It was a moment of panic. We all panicked. 21 year Air Force veteran Ray Taylor says he was an intern at the Pentagon for the Secretary of Defense and Chief of Staff of the Air Force the morning of 9 11. We were all watching on television what was going on in New York, and somebody joked and said, Well, I'm not going outside today, you know, because we're sitting in a pretty big target. And then the unimaginable. It was 9 43 in the morning, the building shook, and I was leaning against the door when it happened. And they said, Ray, go see what happened. And I ran out in the hallway and people were running toward me. And Taylor jumped into action. There was no cell service. Nobody, I, I didn't even own a cell phone. So as we met and ran into people in the parking lot, we started writing down names of who saw whom. You know, hey, I saw Kathy, she's okay. And then we'd write down everybody's names. And then the first one to get home was going to call all the other spouses. Having already spent 10 years in the Air Force, Taylor answered the call to help after the attack. The next three days we were on the roof and uh, the furring strips on the roof were still on fire in many places and we had contractors up there and we were kind of overseeing the contractors and helping out, busting up the tiles that were on the roof and just making sure that we could put tarps down over the concrete. But Taylor's mission didn't stop there. He and the Woodworkers United for America helped distribute flag cases made of American hardwood to more than 750 families of victims of all three attacks. And they would ship them to the Pentagon to the Casualty Assistance Office and I would help make sure they got there to that office and then distributed to the families on all three sites. So it was a very meaningful, another way that we gave back, you know, that kind of helped, uh, helped us. Today, Taylor is able to use his construction background as the Director of Construction Technology at NWAC, but he does so never forgetting that morning on 9-11. I got to go home and kiss my wife and hug my children. There were a lot of people that didn't.